right, folks. <laughs> we made it. We made it to Bonneville. We're here. We're on the salt. It's amazing. Can't believe it. Uh, it was a real, real strong push at the end there. We had a couple nights where the guys just weren't even sleeping. They were working through the night. Striving for a common goal and an ultimate world record. It's a team effort. No man stands alone. It is all in for one. We had a drop dead cutoff point and it was getting closer and closer, but we knew we had to leave by Thursday to get the car here and get it tech inspected. So we did show up a little bit late and the officials at the SCTA have already been over and done a preliminary inspection on the car and we're going to hopefully pass tech inspection a little bit later today, which will get us ready to ride the car on the course tomorrow. We're so excited. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry about the sunglasses. It's so bright out here. Anyways, we're at Bonneville. Uh, Thanks for hanging with us. Stoked we made it, and let's see what the car can do. Here we are. It's our race fuel. Tier 4 Solar brought out their portable trailer for us to charge the car, so all of our record attempt runs are going to be uh, powered with solar power, so pretty cool. We're also running the Alta dirt bikes, the electric dirt bikes in the pit and all our other little toys and the electric bicycles and whatnot. So we really appreciate Tier 4 Solar doing this and bringing it out. It's been a hoot. A lot of people have been stopping by asking what the panels are for and then it leads into a discussion that we actually have an electric car out here at Bonneville. And uh, it looks like this year we're the only one. So we want to encourage everyone check out the scene. Land, land speed's amazing. Uh, we're probably going to build another car. We've been talking about it. And uh, I think this is the future of land speed, doing some electric. Anyways, thanks again, Tier 4 Solar, for bringing the panels out here and keeping, our, keeping all our batteries topped off all weekend long. Okay, so here it is. It's Tuesday morning, and we're going to go take our first run now. We've been working on the car for the last three days to get all the safety issues resolved, and we just passed technical inspection. So we're going to do our first run. We're shooting for 150 mile an hour on the licensing course. You going to do a couple more today and then go for a high-speed run this afternoon. So here we are. The car's ready to go. The Electroliner is ready. The team's ready. Let's do this. All right, here we are. Tuesday morning, we're towing out for our first drive on the short course. Got Merritt in the car behind me, towing Electroliner. We're getting ready to get the driver in. Woo! <laughs> the excitement is real. Everyone's been stopping by the pits. Everyone really wants to see the Electroliner run, so let's get it done for them. All right, guys.
right, here we are. It's Wednesday morning. We're going for our record run right now. We still have to keep it under 249 for the licensing officials. But after this run, when we go to back up our record run, we'll be able to uncork it. Stay tuned. Absolutely amazing day out here on the salt today. Our first run of the morning, got up real early, we're up before sunrise, and uh, we did it. We hit 218, got our backup run, our average, 218.2 over two runs. That's a world record for the Electroliner. So nice out here, we decided to go for another record. So the boys are back there, they're prepping the car right now, and uh, there they are. We're gonna run again. I'm excited. We're gonna do another run. See if we can pump that record up. We got one in the books. We wanted to play it a little conservative, play it smart. We have one in the books. And uh, we're gonna go for it. This is Bonneville for you. While I'm sitting here recording, this guy pulls up and his car's on fire. <laughs> That's so Bonneville. I love this place, love the salt, love my team, love my crew, love electric power, love the torque. Love Bonneville. <laughs> well, land speed racing isn't without its tensions, though, and our first driver decided to leave the team shortly after getting the record. This turned out to be a small blessing in disguise as we hooked up with a driver that was very eager to see what the car could really do. All right, so the guys pulled up behind me. They put the fire out. <laughs> the great thing about it is one of the officials putting the fire out is our new driver, Jim Hoogerhide. The name sounds familiar, it's because he's already got a land speed record on an electric motorcycle, a Lightning. Great bike, by the way. And uh, so he's our guy. He loves electric, he's got a lot of experience. He's driven here at Bonneville for years. His wife drives motorcycles. Great crew. We're really happy to welcome Jim Hooger Hyde aboard. See if he can... Uh, Keep on breaking records for us. We'll see you on the next update. That's the end of Bonneville Speed Week 2020. We did it. Boys are over here packing the car up, getting ready to head out. And uh, we did it. 229.363 miles per hour. That's our average in two passes. And uh, we think the car can do more, so we're ready to come back for Speed Week next year. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Take care. All right, we're back. 
we made it safe and sound. The Electroliner's back. The boys have already taken the car, stripped it all the way down. They're getting it ready for our next event. So more on that soon, but we're looking at doing the Nationals on the 29th. Uh, I have a lot of people to thank, so I'll just try and do it really quick. Um, you know, from the bottom of my heart, we really couldn't have done this without you guys. Uh, it was a huge group effort, so thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Uh, Hickey Speed, he designed the body, did our hatch design, and really gave us the encouragement to do this project. So thank you so much for that. We appreciate it. Ada Diamonds helped us out. They make a man-made silicone carbide diamond that's used in electric vehicle systems. Uh, thank you for the support. JMR Performance provided our rear hubs, our 930 flanges, our brake kit, uh, the master cylinder, all the important brake components to help us safely stop the car. Thank you so much, JMR Performance. Top quality stuff made in the USA. Swayway Axles helped us out with the axles. They're the best name in the business and they didn't let us down. Uh, All German Motorsports helped us keep the grease in our CVs with their CV savers. Took them up over 250 miles an hour and they held in there perfect. And then that got all tied together with hardware from Paradise Motorsports in San Marcos. Thank you for your support, Paradise. Really appreciate it. Uh, Hanneman Fi Fiberglass helped us with the body. They did the body in some record time, like 10 to 14 days or something like that. So thank you, Hanneman Fiberglass. Um, Nate Jones Tire helped us out, high speed balanced all our tires and wheels, and then helped us out on the salt as well. Gave us some consulting with air pressures and what to do with the tires at night. Stuff that a rookie team like us just didn't know. So thank you, Nate. Appreciate it. Rocket Racing Wheels, thank you for your support. Zen Customs, thank you for the paint and the sanding and all the work on our body. Made it look good. Thank you. Um, Design Engineering. Uh, DEI helped us out with their Cryo 2 system. We used to uh, rapid cool the battery and we're working on a more integrated system with them. So thanks for the support. Bassani exhausted our parachute tubes. WD-40 helped us out with lubricants. Thank you, WD-40. Uh, really appreciate all your help. On the salt, uh, of course, the SCTA volunteers. Huge round of applause, huge support for you guys. Um, couldn't do it, wouldn't have the event without you. Thank you so much, SCTA. Uh, tier 4 Solar helped us on the salt, providing power and charging our battery packs with our on-site solar system. So thank you for that. That was really cool. Uh, of course, our drivers, Roger Hickey and Jim Hugerhide, thank you so much. We had two drivers in the car and we got two records and we're just blown away. Thank you guys. Really appreciate it. Um, and then, of course, all of the staff at EV West, everybody here uh, individually worked just so hard for it. There's not a single person under the EV West umbrella that didn't have a hand in this car. So thank all of you guys. Ron G, Mr. G, came out, flew out from the East Coast. Thank you, Mr. G. Teslamino Eddie and Revolt Systems brought out his new Tesla drop-in system. And uh, he, every, every time we needed help, he was all in. So thank you, Eddie. Really appreciate it. Uh, and my father, uh, Bob Bream, helped us so much. He uh, helped crew. He helped drive the car out there, get it safely to the salt, get it safely back. Thank you. I love you, Dad. That's awesome. My family, my wife and kid were both out there as well, just helping every chance they could get. So Julian, Eli, all the Breams, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. And on salt, Speed Demon. Uh, by the end of the trip, we were calling him McMaster Demon because they, we needed so many things and they always had them and they were so helpful. And Kenny over there, Steve Watt and the gang, Top Fuel Joe, all you guys, Maxwell Industries, we really appreciate the help. They helped us out with our parachutes, our tethers, our springs, our drogues, a ton of stuff. So thank you so much. And uh, I think that's it. Thank you for supporting us. I really appreciate it. And we will see you on our next adventure. Can't wait.